cat knocking shit down. Hey guys, Joey. And Buns is upstairs. Today I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna deal with some of this cyano that I have. And I'm also using the Polypleb Lab uh, Coral View lens with the 20K filter. So this is pretty accurate what I see to my eye. So I'll just show you kind of what I'm dealing with on the sand bed here. And then up on the rocks. It's actually uh, slightly better than before I left for my trip. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and uh, test the water uh, because I'm gonna end up doing a, a big water change on this. Um, the first thing I'm going to do after I test the water is vacuum the sand bed. So I have a uh, 40 gallon brew here. So we'll fill it up to about there if I need to. Uh, just enough to vacuum up everything. So go ahead and test the water first. So I wanted to show you guys um, how I do the red sea nitrate test. Um, I got this little magnetic stirrer and it makes things just so much, uh, so much easier. Then I don't have to waste my time actually uh, stirring things. So I think it was like, I don't know, 20 or $30. I could leave a link in the description if you're interested. I don't know if it necessarily makes testing uh, faster, but it definitely makes it more enjoyable. I don't have to worry about actually uh, shaking anything. Um, you know, you don't want to be doing that much exercise when you're you know, working on your tank. It's already hard enough, so why bother doing any exercise that requires you to use muscles? So, just my thought. I'm trying to work on my body, so I don't know about you guys. But I just let it stir for a little while. Um, you can see maybe that it's changing colors a little bit. I don't think my nitrates, they shouldn't show too high. Um, maybe four at the most, but last time we tested them, they were one and a half. So I'm really interested more in phosphates. Okay, we have our results. Interesting, so four and zero. So this is pretty interesting because last week, last Saturday, well it's Sunday now, but last Saturday, it was 1.5 and 0.117. So, that's a pretty big difference. So 117 in parts per million was uh, 38, glad that timed out, uh, 38 um, parts per billion. So it went from 38 to four, which is pretty drastic. I'm not really sure what happened because I didn't change anything. The thing I did do last Sunday was I did dose some uh, BioDigest. This is the BioDigest that I dose bi-weekly by Prod to Bio. So it's possible that that kicked in, I guess, but that's a pretty dramatic drop. So that could also be the reason why it seems like it's starting to retreat a little bit. So um, still go ahead with the with the plan, um, which is to do, you know, siphon some of it out. And then I'll just have to keep an eye on things. And um, I still think I wanna run some of the Kemi Clean. Okay, so I tested elk as well, and it's 7.6, so 0, and then 4, which is 0 0.012 parts per million, and then you can see above, this is the last time I tested, um, you can see I added the bio-digest, bio, bio um, I haven't tested alkalinity in a while, um, when's the last time I tested, it was on the second, and it was 7.9, and it was holding uh, really steady at 7.9, you can see. 7.8, 7.8, uh, 7.8, 7.8, didn't test. Anyways, so it dropped a little bit. Um, but one thing to note as well, my skimmer was going uh, pretty crazy for a while. So my salinity is actually down. So this doesn't surprise me. Uh, so this water change <clears throat> in general is gonna be good for the tank. So, uh, a little lesson about that. If your skimmer's going crazy, make sure you test your 
uh, salinity. Anyways, so now we'll go ahead and start siphoning some of this up. One of these days, I'm gonna remember to close these blinds. So I vacuumed up all the sand, then I had a little lunch, filled up the tank, and it doesn't look like it did much based on the sand. I guess this guy wants to be on camera. You know, it does look a little better. And I mixed up the uh, salt water to 1.026, so it should have gone up a little bit as it mixes together. It looks like that dropped. I don't know who knocked that down. I don't think it was very happy there anyways. Um, I'll go ahead. I still have to blow off some of the corals. And then I took this chance to take off the uh, gyres. So cleaning the gyres. Um, I'm going to take off the skimmer cup. Because when I go ahead and start running the, the chemically. Uh, I'll leave the skimmer on so it can just go you know, full force. And then, yeah, so go ahead, clean that stuff off, and then I'll add the, the chemically. Okay, so I got the uh, skimmer off. Uh, it's running wide open on the air intake. And then um, I just need to shut the carbon off, and then I'll go ahead and add in some chemically. So it says, can I, can I shoot the video? Thanks. Um, so it says, what is it, 10 gallons, so I have one level scoop. That means I have 200 gallons exactly, so I will do um, however many scoops that is, uh, 20, 20 scoops, which should be about two thirds of this package. And then hopefully this doesn't crash my tank. So there we go. The chemi clean is in. I will find out what happens. I think I'll go ahead and I'll post this video up. We'll do a part one and then we'll do a follow up in part two. If I do a follow up video, sometimes I forget or I don't film it on time. So we will see what happens. Catch you guys in the next one.